<laughs> yeah, and uh, I guess you share my emotions because I'm super excited about the trip and uh, I had a very good year and now it's uh, my country number one. Uh, if somebody called, uh, asked me, I'm sorry, to, to tell the paradise on earth, I would say Italy because I love the country, the nature, the architecture, the paintings are so wonderful. You know, when I was a little girl, my mom gave me the books, uh, I mean, about some art and I saw some very, very nice pictures there and now I could see them with my own eyes. In reality, I was, you know, super excited. I love all these kind of activities and you know it was my first time when I saw the Adriatic Sea I was uh, really impressed and now it's my dream to go there to have the sea holiday yeah, because it's super soft you know there are no waves and you just look at uh, you know uh, maybe uh, you add me to your friend list right in, in Google Plus Yes, Again, I'm, yes, I don't. Yeah, so maybe I will send you some photos because you know, I, I was really, really so much excited. What about you? What have you been doing? Uh, <clears throat> I, I had a, a long break in our conversations, and uh, for that time, I have been okay. in, uh, in Russia, I have been in Moscow, and uh, I also spent a lot of time with my family. Yes, <laughs> it was nice. And can I ask you what uh, cities so, what, uh, have you have you visited? You know, Where it was a kind of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you. It was a kind of um, how to say bus tour around Italy. We visited all the cultural places. I mean, uh, Rimini, Rome, Florence, Pisa, Pompeii. Naples and Venice of course you know it's my favorite place I have been there uh, 10 years ago I'm in Venice yes and uh, this time when I came there I found it really really uh, I guess even more beautiful than it was before you know and I guess this is the place where you should come with your uh, I don't know, somebody who you love because it's full of romance. You know, many people say that the uh, water smells there or mm -hmm. some, some things they don't, do not like, but I think, you know, I didn't notice them at all. I was, I was really, you know, full of all the atmosphere and it was really wonderful. So I guess you, you will see my photos and you will understand because you've been there, so you know okay. what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? okay. Okay. We have a new person with us today, so hello, what's your name? Hello, my name is Nastya. Okay. I'm the first time uh, in this conversation. Very uh, good. So my name is Julia. I'm very glad to see you. We also have Tatiana here. <laughs> so um, we still want to tell us so. Oh, something wrong. Nastya, can you hear us? Y yes, but uh, something interrupt. Some interrupt. So I asked you to tell us about yourself. Because mm -hmm. we do not know you. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm a new student at this uh, site. Uh, I'm uh, Nastya. I uh, originally I'm from uh, Voronezh, uh, but uh, last uh, mm -hmm. uh, ten years I lived in Moscow because I uh, I was studying here. Uh, but now uh, uh, this three months maybe I live. I'm living in uh, Paris. Uh, because oh, my good, husband, good for you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, my husband works here, and uh, uh, I uh, go to him. <laughs> okay, so lucky you are. Tell, tell me, it's one of my favorite cities as well, and I now I dream to come back there one more time. So, how is the life going there? Uh, uh, indeed, uh, it's the first time uh, where uh, when I I come to um, to Paris, and it's indeed uh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, lucky that I'm not a tourist here. I'm uh, indeed living here as a usual p p Parisian uh, mm -hmm. citizen. But uh, no one, uh, two maybe things I I'm impressed because. All uh, Parisian citizens uh, have uh, small, very small dogs. E each yeah. family uh, uh, has this uh, uh, this uh, stuff. And uh, two, uh, the second uh, thing that uh, uh, everywhere on the streets, people uh, e indeed eat uh, baguettes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they yes. do, they do. And Tom, at least, uh, nowadays people say, I was in Paris like 10 years ago and uh, mm -hmm. I was super excited by, by with the center of the city, all, all, of course, the Eiffel Tower, the Seine embankment. But nowadays people tell me, my students and my friends uh, who visit, they say that it's really hard now to find a European face on the streets because uh, the city is full of Pakistani guys and all, you know, <laughs> our friends from Asia. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Uh, is it true? But uh, there are a lot of people, really a, a lot, from uh, all all over the world. It's indeed so, uh, and uh, there is uh, no place, no free place uh, near the Eiffel Tower now because there are a lot of uh, tourists, and it's not uh, the um, I, I can't uh, uh, separate uh, some European, uh, but uh, there are a lot of people from Asia, from uh, from other European countries as well, I think. Mm -hmm. So, and how do you feel? Do you feel safe when you are outside? Mm, I think so, yes. It's quite uh, safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So, I'm very glad to see you here with us and I hope you will join uh, your first time here, okay? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So, we have one more new person. Mikhail, can you hear me? Oh, yes, you can hear okay. me too. Oh, yes, yes, beautiful we, picture. Yeah, this. really. So we have just been talking about the Eiffel Tower and now we, we can see it behind <laughs> you. So good. So my name is Julia. I'm the presenter here, whatever you call me, organizer. So um, we see you for the first time. So I would like to know who you are, what you do, where you're from. So just some common information, okay? Okay. Uh, Let's go. Hello, everyone. My name is Mikhail. I'm from Blagovetsk uh, city. It's uh, in a more region, um, far east of Russia. Uh, I'm not uh, in Paris. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> sticker on my uh, in my home. Okay. And I um, um, improve my English every day. Mm -hmm. As I try. Uh, and I love um, live conversation with uh, native speakers or, and with not. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> with naughty. With, with you, with girls. With, with, with you, me. Russians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, can I ask you, what do you do for a living? No, repeat, please. Uh, what do you do for a living? Where do you work? What's your profession? Uh, I'm a TV engineer. Oh, good. Do you like a job? Mm, some interesting job, but sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And one more thing about the Eiffel Tower. Why do you have this sticker? Are you a great <laughs> fan of Paris or France? Mm, I was in um, France and in Europe uh, some years ago uh, by bicycle trip. Oh my god. Bicycle? Yeah. So, how many uh, kilometers me, did, did you ride, actually? Uh, me and my friend, uh, uh, my friend from Khabarsk, uh, okay. uh, over 1,000 kilometers. It's amazing. How did you countries, feel? Uh, how, how, how did your legs feel? Uh, what, what, sorry? How did your legs feel? Were you tired after so much exercise? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a sportsman and I <laughs> do it uh, not, not one year and many oh, years. Okay. Did, okay. did you did you ride uh, from Vagavishnsk to Paris by bicycle? No, no, it's not interesting uh, because uh, <laughs> Russia is a huge country. <laughs> it is not interesting for me in this this time. Okay, okay. So, and one more thing: uh, Are you a student of our school? I mean, do you have some le uh, lessons with teachers? Uh, yes, I am student of Sky School, mm -hmm. and I'm. But uh, on the Tuesday, Thursday, <laughs> uh, one one lesson on th uh, Thursday, and I'm um, studying one year ago. Uh, mm, that's all. Okay, well that's it. So, do you have a Russian speaking teacher or a native speaker? Um, and this time Russian, uh, uh, Ukrainian, uh, English speaking. Mm, <laughs> 
I don't know, Ukrainian or Russian, <laughs> not okay. native speakers. Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, since you are talking English, so the nationality doesn't matter, I guess so. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. I hope you will enjoy our speaking session today. So I, I will try to do my best, and I hope you will help me as well. So, my dear friends, uh, as far as you know, the topic of our conversation today will be the seven wonders of the world. I guess we are people who travel a lot um, because now I hear I know your little stories and a lot of tu touristic uh, background behind your back. So, and I would like uh, first of all to know how do you understand the word wonder? What is wonder for you, Tatiana? Can you start, please? Okay. <coughs> uh, uh, wonder is something unusual, amazing, and so difficult to uh, to repeat it. Uh, and uh, uh, just a uh, unique uh, thing and uh, uh, every uh, all people uh, all people agree that it's uh, something special and um, um, uh, that's unusual yes okay so uh, can I ask you to give me an example <laughs> Wonder. It, it doesn't. Uh, it's not obligatory. It should be some geographical place. Just an example of a wonder for you. For example, I, I I can help you a little bit. For me, wonder is when I get on the board of the plane and we actually fly. For me, okay. it's absolute wonder because I have no idea how it came to somebody's mind to create such a big bird to carry people somewhere. So, what about you? Something that amazes you, really. Uh, maybe wonder of uh, bone that uh, uh, a small, uh, a small, uh, uh, small uh, baby can uh, uh, can appear in a stomach of a woman, and uh, then mm -hmm. she uh, it she or he uh, go. Out and uh, then begin to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Go out. Okay. You should see uh, the wonder of birth. Yeah. Rajdin, not born. Birth. Okay. Thank you so much. So, Anastasia, can I call you like that? Ah uh, yes. Um, okay. Uh, great. So, how do you understand the word wonder? No, wonder. Uh, first of all, it's uh, marvel. I don't know if uh, I will uh, think about people. It's some prodigy, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, if um, if to be uh, such philosophical as Tatiana, uh, I will uh, say that uh, wonder it's uh, life, our life uh, it's uh, really wonder. But if be, uh, to be more practical, for me, for example, Skype is wonder because uh, it can connect uh, people from. Uh, uh, from uh, different parts uh, of the world, and it's one as well. But uh, one more thing that I uh, that I consider wonder it's uh, something which is uh, difficult to build. Mm. And I think that uh, a lot of people uh, uh, think in such way because it's indeed, uh, for example, from ancient. Uh, Greece, it's uh, all things which was difficult to construct it, uh, be, uh, was well considered as uh, wonders. Yes, I agree with you. And you know, for us, for modern people, uh, all these gadgets that appear every day are a kind of wonder, I would say. Because you know, mm -hmm. I want to share one little uh, wonder with you. When I was in Italy, I have just come back from Italy, uh, the wonder of my trip was a selfie stick. You know, uh, nowadays yes. people are absolutely crazy about this little gadget and you know, I I discovered it myself and I was like, you know, a newborn baby trying something for the first time. It was amazing. You just press the button and here we go. So <laughs> now, actually, you know, if you travel alone, there is no need for you yeah. to have somebody around to ask people. You don't need even to speak English. You have it with selfie stick and we are done, you know. But uh, on, on the other side, 
side, yeah, on the other side, uh, I guess it will make people uh, be a little, little bit more separated, yeah, because when you don't need anybody, you don't need to talk, don't need to communicate, so you just have this gadget and that's it. <laughs> actually, actually, two weeks ago, I bought it <laughs> and oh, I'm yeah. happy. Because uh, two weeks ago, I, I, I indeed uh, hated uh, this gadget because all people uh, go with it and it uh, was uh, weird. But uh, now I understand uh, why they... Uh, yeah, I guess you hated it uh, just before the moment when you try it. Then you yeah, love it with yeah. all your heart and you just do all, all this because self... It's, uh, uh, quite more better than uh, to do so. Sure, just uh, exactly. yes. half a uh, meter. <laughs> You understand what I mean. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Mikhail, how do you understand the word wonder? What is wonder for you? Okay. Uh, the word wonder for me is a new place. Um, um, and, uh, in this place, uh, mm, I know what is this and where it is, but I don't know uh, how I... Mm, Mm, what I feel in this place when I come and uh, mm, the next one that is uh, connect with uh, other people and the conversation and the talk uh, about anything with uh, uh, in other um, countries uh, with, with people who uh, travel uh, around the world and uh, give me um, interesting uh, facts, information about uh, life and uh, country um, where um, from. <clears throat> and this is one, I think, uh, the next year or next um, yes next year I I try to go to uh, around the world trip around the world oh, really I yeah. hope I hope yeah. not by bicycle no um, sometimes bicycle <laughs> or, uh, who knows? plane bicycle all, all uh, kind of transport <laughs> I think okay okay I see so it's really interesting and I guess after your after your coming back you will be a very precious participant of our speaking club <laughs> because you will tell us so much about the world you know it's really amazing to explore the new places all the time okay okay he will be he will be a teacher yeah yeah I guess so <laughs> because no no need in Julia so we will have Michael really so, if we come back to our topic of the our conversation, I would like to share with you one link. You can see it in our chat. Just tell me if you see it. Can you see? Yes. So please, I want you to watch the video and uh, I want you to pay attention to the second part of the video. Can you please, while watching the second part of the video about the modern wonders of the world, can you please uh, write down the names? while watching, okay? You should have seven of them, okay? Just mm -hmm. enjoy uh, enjoy your time and come back to me after finishing. Mm -hmm.
Okay. So is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. Michael, how are you? <coughs> I'm not ready because I use uh, iPad and I can see anything. <laughs> oh my god, so sad. <laughs> yeah. But I guess you still know some information and we will share with you and anyway we will have some uh, common picture of the story. So, I would like us to discuss what you have seen. You have seen two parts of the video. Your, yeah, the ancient list of seven wonders of the world and the new one. So I would like us to discuss the new one because uh, if we speak about the ancient times, most of these wonders have been destroyed. Many of them were destroyed by uh, the earthquake and it's a very, very sad uh, news for us because now we cannot see anything. Just the ruins, oh. little, little pillars, only only the pyramids. Yeah, you want to yeah. say that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I had, pyramids. I had, I, had, mm -hmm. I had read that only Giza pyramid. Uh, yeah, is, exactly. Right, you are. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? Have you seen them? Mm -hmm. No. Tatiana, you have been there, no, right? No, unfortunately not. No? <laughs> Michael, have you been? Have you been and seen the pyramids? No. no. I'm the only no. one. <laughs> so, okay, uh, just a little express test for you. How do you, um, how do you imagine them? How big are they? What do you think? Tatiana, what do you think? Um, 
uh, quite, I guess, quite big, uh, maybe uh, mm -hmm. uh, 100 uh, at all. Yeah, yeah, I understand you. So, and tell me, please, where are they located? Uh, outside of the city, uh, in the middle of the city, <coughs> in the city center, <coughs> so how do you see them? Uh, I mentioned uh, desert, desert, and uh, there are some uh, uh, pyramids and uh, sphinx uh, lies mm -hmm. in the Okay, okay. So what do you think? Uh, actually, I don't know, but uh, uh, I have no, heard... But uh, I guess you saw some pictures, right? I mean, yes, yes. Uh, and I have heard a little bit from uh, friends that it's uh, some hours from uh, from t um, any cities. It's yeah. I indeed in the desert. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it actually so? Okay, just a second. I would like to know <laughs> the opinions. Michael, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, uh, these pyramids are uh, over 100 meters, maybe, and located uh, on border of uh, Giza city, maybe, or or some cities. <laughs> You know, uh, I, I thought the same. Before I went there, I had thought the same. And uh, when I saw them, actually, they were not impressive at all. I mean, they were not really <laughs> huge as we uh, get used to seeing them on some postcards and pictures in the books. And actually, they are not in the desert at all. They are almost in the city center. And, you know, uh, uh, the time when I saw the pyramids in the city center, I mean, surrounded by the city, I wondered how did they take the, all these pictures, like, yeah, you know, like pyramids standing in the desert and there is nothing and nobody around. But then I understood that maybe they used, I don't know, some Photoshop or whatever it can be, because uh, the city is around, actually. This is what amazed me greatly. But yeah, so from the old list of seven wonders of the world, they are the only ones that still exist. And I think that we sh you should go and visit them, yeah? Because we, uh, when we see such things, uh, we can feel the connection, the connection of times, I guess. Yeah, the, the time is endless, and we see that something uh, have been standing from that time. Okay, as for the modern uh, list of the wonders, so I would like us to discuss one by one all of them. Tatiana, let's uh, name the first one. What did uh, they mention? The first one was uh, Great Wall of China. Okay, so just tell me anything you know about the place and maybe some background information as well. Uh, I know that uh, this is only one uh, uh, construction uh, uh, structure uh, which uh, can be seen uh, from uh, space mm -hmm. and it's very long uh, and uh, uh, it's made from stone yes <laughs> yes <laughs> it's, yeah it's logical tell me please uh, do you yes. know the reason why it was built uh, I remember from my school that it's uh, it was a war between uh, between two parts of China mm -hmm. and then one uh, one uh, 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 King of China decided to build this uh, wall to uh, uh, as a border between these two parts of China, and uh, other people could not uh, uh, come come mm -hmm. to us. To them. So you have a very very rich experience in traveling. Have you been to China? No, unfortunately not. I haven't been not yet. Yes. Are, are you are you going to do that one day? Yes, for sure. Yes, yes. And also, and I, I know to... that. Sorry. No, come on, come on. Uh, uh, I also I remember that uh, it was very popular between um, magic people, uh, wizards, wizards to do some tricks when they go through this uh, uh, China Wall, like mm -hmm. David Copperfield, uh, and. Uh, some of them did this uh, trick. Yeah. But do you believe they actually did it? <laughs> it's wonder. It's magic. <laughs> magic. Who knows? It's a wonder. Magic. Yes, and we, yes. we like to wonder. I think people, yes. it's of people's nature. You have to yes. see some things and, oh my God, how can it be? Okay, thank you. Yes. Anastasia, what was mentioned as number two? Uh, yes, um, just to see. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Petra in uh, Jordan. 
Yes, right. You are. Do you do you happen to know any information about the place? I uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Come on. As uh, as uh, video says, it's in Jordan. Yeah. Isn't it so? And uh, I know this this some architecture in uh, uh, in uh, inherited in in uh, I don't know inherited in rock. It, yes, uh, yes, you're right. It, uh, it's created from rock, and it has a special uh, color, rose, mm -hmm. uh, which which has uh, which rock has, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why this uh, structure uh, sometimes called uh, rose city. Yes, yes, right. You. How do you know this information? Who told you that? Um, before the lesson, I just look at uh, the list yeah. of wonders. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> how I, I want you to prepare. Yeah, it's not just a little entertainment here. I want you to read something first and to share. Yeah, that's good. But, okay. but I, I just look at the list and that's all. I, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Have you been there? No, of course. Sure. Would you like to go and see? Uh, I think so, but uh, as picture says, it's uh, very hot uh, there. Yeah. I, I like yeah. so hot it's weather. It's absolutely <laughs> correct. I guess it's around plus 50, and I mm. think you will not enjoy the trip. But you know, for many, many people who go to Jordan in some uh, religious meaning, I mean, they mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. care about this thing. Yeah, they just go because they need to be there and feel it, actually, with their own body. I don't know. Okay, thank you. Anyway, Michael, what was... Ah, okay, I'm so sorry. I can help you a little bit. So, uh, one more thing that was mentioned there, it was the... By the way, what do you think was in the list? Can you name one more thing? One more wonder of the world? Michael? Can you hear me? So-so, mm, bad uh, connection. Bad connection. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Um, yes, yes. Okay. Repeat, please. Yes. Can you tell your own version? What do you think was in the list as well? In the list of seven wonders? Mm, list of seven wonders and... Uh, mm, sorry, I, I reconnect now, okay? Okay, okay, okay. We just we are waiting for you. So come to the ladies. Tatiana, what else was mentioned there? Uh, next was uh, a sculpture of, of Christ in the Rio de Janeiro. Yes, yes, it's a Christ. Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so. it's uh, it's situated on the hall near the city mm -hmm. yes, with mm -hmm. open uh, open arms, and uh, Christ look uh, looks uh, on the city. Maybe it's a patron of Rio de Janeiro. Yes, I think it's correct, and it's one more place for uh, people who strongly believe to be there and yeah, to take some photos and maybe to pray, as far as I know. And it uh, made from uh, reinforced concrete, and uh, also I uh, last year uh, some of my friends uh, were in Portugal, and uh, then I. Uh, I, I have seen the pictures, and I was uh, wondering because in uh, Lisbon they have uh, a statue like this. Uh, yeah, the same. Is, is it like a little? Uh, I don't know. Copy? Uh, no, I guess I guess Portugal is older than uh, Brazil, so maybe in Brazil they copy the statue and do it in uh, some uh, some dimension. But then I wonder why the Brazilian Christ is really popular. It's well known all over the world, but uh, it's the first time when I hear something about Portuguese Christ. I don't know, actually. We, yes, I, 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 think, so yes, for me I think we need to go and check in both places. That's what we are going <laughs> to do. Okay, so, and I guess, you know, if you have this Christ behind your back and your selfie stick, I think you will have a brilliant selfie. I guess so. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. What was next, Nastya? Uh, the next was uh, chicken itza. Yes, chichen. Chichen, chichen. not chichen. chichen. <laughs> yes. chichen. No, it has nothing to do with food, yeah. So chichen itza. Where chichen is it situated and uh, what is it actually? Yes, I, I know only one, uh, one thing about it. It's in uh, Mexico. 
Yeah, right, you are. And uh, it was built uh, by uh, Maya, Maya, Maya people. Indians, Maya people. Yes, right, you are. Uh, do you know what it is? Is it a church, you know, a supermarket, a museum, a swimming pool? What is it? Yes, it's swimming pool. Uh, <laughs> sure. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fitness, uh, fitness club. <laughs> yeah, fitness club. Yes, uh, it's uh, um, a lot of buildings. It's uh, yes, it's, it's a group of buildings. Group right? of yeah. buildings. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> maybe, mm -hmm. maybe swimming pool, uh, uh, something nearby. Somewhere inside, we don't know. Yes. So, uh, okay, Tatiana, thank you for the links because <laughs> I, I love to see something uh, that we that you know enlarges my horizon. I think it's just great. Okay, so uh, Nastya, one more question to you: Would you like to go there and explore the ancient civilization of Maya with your own eyes? Of course, yes. Of course, yes. And you know, people say that there are so many steps, and you need to go up. What do you think? What do you think about that? Are you ready I, I, for some yeah. fitness? Ah, I ready because I think that it's not so so high. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see. So, do you know anybody who has been there? No, I have no. Not yet. We are so young. We have all life ahead of us. So I guess we will we will go there for sure. Okay. Let's mention the place where I have been. No, where I was just seven days ago, I guess, and I was standing there taking some photos. Tatiana, what is the name of the place? I guess it's a Coliseum. <laughs> in <London. laughs> yes, right you are. So, uh, have you seen the building? Uh, yes, I have been also too. And uh, to be honest, uh, that time it uh, has it had no had ne did not a great impressions for me. It was oh, really uh, why? Oh, uh, I, I I don't know I don't know. Uh, uh, because maybe so, I have seen so much uh, so much interesting attractions. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Except the Colosseum in Rome and other Italy, so it was not my top top one. Yeah, and actually, you know, I agree with you. It's it is just uh, you know not really impressive. You just see it. Yes, and else that's it. Yes, and you, also you take you take some photos and you are done. That's mm -hmm. that's how it happened to me. No, you know, no spirit of ancient times. I don't know nothing. Have you been inside? Was it possible? Ah no no I I don't no I did not and uh, but I remember that I Im uh, imagine uh, it uh, bigger than it's uh, in reality. Yeah, it's not yeah, so yeah big, right so big. Absolutely. And you know nowadays uh, the central part of Rome is under construction most of them and you know it was my great sorrow that mm -hmm. the fountain Trevi it was the you know I wanted to be there to of course to take photos to throw a coin because it's a kind of tradition it was under construction as well and the only thing we could see were some I don't know how to call them some construction machines I don't know. Mm -hmm. I need to be there one more time, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> it's a very, it's a big mistake, yeah, to come there and not to see the fountain. And Coliseum was uh, the same site, I think. Okay, thank you. Is it is it uh, free access to to it? Yes. To Coliseum, you mean? Mm -hmm. No, you can see the uh, the no, the exterior. I mean, mm -hmm. but you cannot go inside. I guess mm -hmm. if you if you want to go inside, you need to pay. I think mm -hmm. there are some tickets, but we didn't go. Mm -hmm. We just it was we were running around you know in a very quick speed because we were running I, all the time actually. Yes, I guess I guess it it's a big queue. Yes, near. Yeah. yeah, I guess many many people you know because mm -hmm. near the Colosseum there are ruins and you can see how uh, deep the city uh, surface was in ancient times. It's around six or five meters deep. And you know, uh, the modern city is five or six meters up. 
So you actually see the difference, you are really impressed. And nearby there is a Piazza di Venezia, very, very beautiful place, and uh, there is a very big monument there as well, and some palace, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you need to go there and check, because uh, Italy is something amazing, be beyond mm -hmm. comparison, really. It's not Paris, it's not anything, it's, it's Italy. You need, to, you, need, you need to see and you will understand. Okay, we continue with the list. Nice, what is next? Uh, next, it's uh, Taj Mahal in India. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me something that you know about the place. Uh, Taj Mahal, it's something like church. I don't know, maybe it's a temple. I mm. guess it was a kind of castle or castle, a palace. Yes. Mm -hmm. And indeed, I know Cathedral, it's, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the same time it's a mausoleum. Mm -hmm. Somebody, uh, Somebody is buried yeah, there. Okay. Somebody is lying. Okay. We yes. don't know who exactly, unfortunately. But yeah, yes, do you know? Yes. No, some impera emperor. 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 Emperor, yeah, I guess so. So, and uh, would you like to visit India? Because uh, uh, I, I, I don't like. What about you? <laughs> Actually, uh, two year, uh, three years oh. ago, I was. Uh, Taj Mahal? Uh, around that? No, 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 no. I was in a touristic place. It's mm -hmm. uh, Goa. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's very banal uh, uh, touristic version. Uh, it's like. It's not, uh, uh, I guess. It just, it just co cost it's like and Turkey. fee. Uh, but uh, yeah. uh, we visit uh, only Basilic Church. Mm -hmm. It's a Portugalic uh, heritage from uh, uh, colonial colonial mm -hmm. times. Uh, but yeah. uh, I don't, I didn't see um, Taj Mahal. It's uh, uh, quite quite far from uh, Goa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, see. I need uh, one more time. <laughs> to visit. Yeah, I guess we need we need to go to some places again and again just to double check. Uh, I want to add. You, you say that uh, you don't uh, like India. You don't want to be here. But indeed, uh, the nature, the um, colorit of nature is mm -hmm. wonderful. It uh, differs. Uh, it distinguishes from uh, uh, any other, especially um, European countries. It's uh, yeah, in people incredible. Say so. But you know, if if we speak about myself, I have a kind of phobia. I'm afraid of bacteria and viruses, so I cannot go to some places where there yes, are so yes, many but, people. Uh, yes, we we uh, I know about these uh, myths. I think yeah. myths, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, in a touristic area. It's uh, quite safety okay. because uh, all uh, hotels and uh, all. Um, Touristic places uh, have uh, good sanitary conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe one day I will try to check your words because now I'm not ready. I guess so. But you know, now I work with the IKEA company. If you know, of course you know. So and uh, they have a very big plan for India. I mean, in 2020 they are going to open 20 big stores in India. So maybe who knows? One day maybe we will go there as well because. Uh, it's mm -hmm. it's a country on you know of big prosperity and of big perspectives because the population it's is a, growing yeah a so de developing country exactly right you are. okay thank you we continue with our list Tatiana what was next okay next is uh, Machu Picchu yeah it's so. a ruin uh, ruin city in mm -hmm. Peru it's uh, yes. situated on the uh, quite high altitude uh, somewhere in mm -hmm. the mountains and uh, it's very green uh, ruins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. So, do you know anybody, or maybe you yourself, have you been there? Uh, one of my friends uh, have been there. <laughs> so, what what did he or she tell tell you about that? Uh, no, of course, he told me that it was amazing, and I I have seen some pictures on his in his social media. Yes, it was great. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, uh, I don't know how you perceive ruins, but when I see ruins, for me, uh, they are just stones. I don't know, of course, there is a very big legend around it, and you know, people tell you that in those times it was blah, blah, blah. But you know, it's nowadays, it's, yeah, it's not very impressive, really. You just see the stones, uh, stones are broken, so, so what, you know? But it's just my personal. Maybe some people are amazed with this, with them as well. Okay, thank you. And one more thing, I guess. Yes, have they mentioned them all? Nice. Have we mentioned them all? 
Seven. Ah, no? seven. Uh, it's a Giza pyramid complex. Yeah, yeah. But we we said yeah, yeah. This is this is a new uh, no, the old passenger who joined this new company. I guess so. Okay, now I want us to uh, try to imagine and to tell you tell me uh, what else could we add to the list in your opinion? For example, now you live in Paris, the Eiffel Tower. Do you think yes. it could be added to the list? Why not? I think so because, uh, as uh, statistics says, it's uh, the most uh, photo taken <laughs> place. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I think uh, why not? It's quite uh, popular and mm -hmm. it's uh, indeed good looking. <laughs> yeah, and you know, uh, let's be patriotic a little bit. And if we speak about yes. Russia, what yes, could yes. We I, I want to be patriotic as well. and, uh, uh, as, uh, mm -hmm. as to speak, uh, if to speak uh, about Russia, uh, I can uh, suggest that we can uh, consider, uh, for example, uh, main building uh, of uh, Lomonosov State University as a wonder. Because it's uh, um, the tallest uh, educational building in uh, in the world. Yeah. Uh, and do, uh, do you find it beautiful? I mean, the yes, stereo. Do you find it beautiful? Yes. It's uh, for me. It's a fundamental uh, building, such um, powerful, uh, yeah. and uh, it's in good place uh, mm -hmm. near the river. Uh, with a good panoramic view. Yes, yes, it's true. I agree with you. Have you ever been inside, inside the building? <laughs> Indeed, uh, I lived inside the building. Oh, you lived inside. Oh, good. Uh, so you uh, could all, you could enjoy the view all the time, yeah? Yes. <laughs> in this okay. uh, in this building, uh, oh, um, approximately all the windows uh, it's uh, uh, windows from uh, dormitory of students. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> so thank you, Tatiana. The same question to you. What could be added from the places you have visited? Um, I would be. I would add uh, a cafe of uh, Sagrada Familia. Yeah, in, uh, yeah. I agree with you. In Barcelona, and mm -hmm. especially it's uh, very unique outside and also very impressive inside. When I came there. It was. Uh, it, it makes me a very great emotions. It's like a, a wonderful world and uh, something. Uh, maybe for me it was a, a undersea, undersea world with unusual trees and uh, uh, other existence. Yes. Yeah, it's true. You know, I have found some questions about the wonders of the world, and there was a question that re that I'm really interested in. Can a person be a wonder of the world. What do you think? Nice. What do you think? Can uh, can person? Can can a person person oh. person oh. be a wonder of the world? Mm, yes, it's indeed an interesting question. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, yes. For example, um, I think. I, I can uh, uh, suggest uh, such person, for example, yeah. for India, it will be uh, Mahatma Gandhi, because it's a person who uh, gave uh, independence for all the country. I think they can consider it a wonder for all Indian uh, people. I, can, I guess it's a, re it's a real wonder. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can't suggest uh, some people uh, for Russian, <laughs> but, uh, but... But you know, I think at least you can suggest somebody for yourself. Who is a wonder of the world for you? Do you have such a person? Oh, I can't. I don't have a kumirs. <laughs> idols. Idols. Idols, yes. I'm not a fan, but... Um, <laughs> No, I can't uh, say. No, you can't. Okay, I see. Tatiana, any candidates for being a wonder <laughs> of the world? Uh, at first, I should say it's very interesting questions. Thank you yeah. for it. <laughs> uh, my, uh, uh, I can suggest a young man. He's American. And uh, unfortunately, I forget his name, but he has no legs, no arms. But oh, he's very, yes, yes. he is very active. Uh, he 
now he has a family, uh, um, a wife and a small child, and mm -hmm. he goes around the, the world and uh, shows his example that he has no uh, uh, no legs, no arms, but he um, he um, uh, he can live, he can uh, have a ordinary family, and uh, mm -hmm. he's very strong inside and motivate people, inspire them to live and uh, enjoy this world. You know, uh, you mentioned him, and I, I guess you're right. One of my students, she lives in Moscow, and she has been uh, to such a meeting just recently. And she came there full of inspiration. You know, he was speaking really much about his experience. And especially uh, guys, I mean, invalids and disabled people from Russia, they came to such meetings, they come to such meetings, just to see how their life can be fulfilled. I know that they lost some parts of their bodies, but uh, life doesn't uh, finish here. And he tries with his own example to show that, yeah, it's really so. Guys, look at me. I have... His wife, you know, she's amazing. I saw them together and, you know, on some photos you actually cannot, can't understand that he's a disabled man. They look so happy, I don't know, they enjoy their life with swimming pool, I don't know, sun, sunset or beach, where, whenever they go, wherever. I mean, uh, amazing, really. But, you know, uh, when I see him just, I mean, as, as he is, uh, I have a very, very, you know, he scares me a little bit, but I think he's a good guy and he's doing a good thing. Try to help people with his own example, I think it's wonderful. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to, um, how to say, to attend such a meeting, to listen to him? Uh, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. I think it's great. Okay. So, uh, do you do you uh, think that uh, the uh, sites, the touristic places we have mentioned, they will disappear soon, or maybe you think they will stay forever in some of our I don't know, great-grandchildren will have the same speaking club and discuss the Coliseum, the Machu Picchu, and all these things we are enjoying now. Nastya, what do you think? Uh, I hope uh, that all the buildings and all the stuff will stay uh, and uh, our grandchild uh, grandchildren uh, will see it, but according to uh, some natural situation which mm -hmm. we can see such floods uh, or earthquakes or uh, I don't know any other uh, natural disaster uh, we, ca we can't uh, we can't be uh, confident that uh, it uh, will stay in, su in, the, in, in such, no, and it will stay. Yeah, it will stay, it will exist, and then it will be in a good condition, yeah, for people to enjoy it. And uh, actually, do you think that uh, if you visit all of the seven places, you will get some insight, I don't know, some blessing from the sky, or I don't know, do you think it means something? Or it's just some simple phrase and it means nothing? Uh, I think it uh, uh, will um, expand, ex extend my uh, no expand uh, expand correct. expand my vision, expand mm -hmm. my, uh, uh, my my understanding of the world. But mm -hmm. uh, I don't uh, think that it uh, will be uh, uh, re I don't know revealing uh, mm -hmm. or some something exciting. It's so you, just, don't, you don't think that once you see the seven of them, the eighth wonder will happen to you? You don't think so? I don't think so, yes. Because uh, there are uh, a lot of other um, lists mm -hmm. of uh, other uh, so-called uh, um, wonders. wonders, yes. And uh, 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 I think uh, uh, all of them uh, are need uh, to be uh, visited. <laughs> Yeah, sure. But mm -hmm. uh, but I I don't say I, I think that uh, there are a lot of people who uh, visited uh, all this stuff. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, yes, but 
I don't think that uh, their lives change so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see, I get your point, thank you. Tatiana, how do you see the future of the Seven Wonders? Uh, I just uh, joined Nastya that uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some uh, nature disaster can help, can help happen and uh, we um, lost uh, some of them mm -hmm. and uh, also I just wanted to add that this is a uh, wonder made uh, by, uh, by humans. But by humans, and uh, I believe that the best creator of our world is uh, nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, we unfortunately we didn't mention any nature wonder. <laughs> and yes. uh, I, I right think that, and I, I think that uh, for me at least, uh, um, nature wonder is more uh, impressive. They give mm -hmm. more power us than uh, creations. Uh, human creations because uh, human creation it's uh, a lot depends on our taste what we like what we mm -hmm. dislike like uh, these ruins we feel nothing and also yes, it's yes. interesting because i travel a lot and sometimes i think that uh, in uh, in uh, guide uh, books uh, if we mm -hmm. don't read about this um, attraction maybe we don't visit it and uh, nothing happened in our life <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so it's just somebody point on this uh, on this mm -hmm. uh, house or maybe building mm -hmm. and uh, say it, oh it's a wonder and other people start to believe in it <laughs> but if they point other one maybe mm -hmm. the result will be the same. Yeah, we'll, yeah, I agree with you absolutely. Just yesterday I discussed this topic with my mom and she's really into gardening and you know she told me oh. Why are we talking about the seven wonders of the world, all these pyramids, monuments? Nature, as you say, is the best creator. And you know, she mentioned one place. They were in Scandinavian countries, and she mentioned uh, the fjords. Do you know what yes, it means? Yes, for sure, yes. She yes. said that, oh, you, you, you need just to be there and to see with your own eyes. It's something, I, I don't know, you can't even find the words to describe how, how it looks, actually. And yes. now I, I really want to, you know, I have so many plans about the reason, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, right, you are, and I agree. Because all, all, all that is made of stone, it's not that impressive if we look at some green, you know, real life as it is. It's blossoming, it's growing, and it, gets, it gives us some fruit, I don't know, whatever. It's really Really amazing. It's like uh, the wonder of birth that you mentioned, yeah. But it's in a, it's a little bit different way. Okay, so we can stop here, my dear ladies. I was very very glad to see you today. Thank you for sharing some time with me because today is Sunday, and I know maybe you could have some other plans, but uh, you are here, and I appreciate that. I hope to see you next week. Uh, I think it won't be Sunday; it will be Thursday again because this uh, week I, I couldn't make it. So uh, anyway, please, you're welcome, and you know that all the time uh, we are discussing here something, and uh, you know we have we now we are preparing something new for you, and in the nearest future you will enjoy it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. Have a good uh, evening, and see you next week. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.